All right, YouTubers, got a compact Presario R3000, I think this is. Um, anyway, it's a friend of mine's, and they wanted me to change out their RAM. So that's what I'm going to be walking you all through today. All right, how to change the RAM, even get access to the inaccessible RAM that they say that you cannot change. It was up under the keyboard. Anyway, how to do that. So anyway, the one that's easy to access is right up under this panel right here okay so if you look you got your service tag information over here alright you got your battery which is right here alright of course your CPU and other fans right over there whatever though just this one screw it comes on out and of course you should know how to do if you're trying this alright all you gotta do is just take your fingers pry these apart it'll pop up all right, and to put it back in, you just press it right on back down. You'll hear it click on both sides. That's how you know it's out. You're good to go. So anyway, that's the easy access, the one on the bottom. So one second here. One on the corner. One in the middle between your exhaust vent and your monitor and then one again on the corner so these are the outside corners in case you confuse it with these on the inside no you want the outside corner so by the lock all right so those are the ones now here's the issue how to get to the quote inaccessible one flip it open up the monitor all the way it's just going to take a screwdriver all right, sorry about that. Didn't realize bad angle for you guys. Take a screwdriver ever so carefully. Wedge it. Pick it up. So again, so you can see. This nice gap right here is there for a purpose. Put your screwdriver in there. Use a flathead. You use a Phillips head or a star. You ain't getting nowhere. Let's take it in there. You heard that one pop. Demonstrate it one more time. Put it in there. See the whole motion. All right. Again, you're just going this way. So you can see it in my hand. Just propping, prying it out. Once you do that, then work your way around it. Be careful because you don't know what the heck is up under there. I mean, I do, but you don't. So just go on and up under the thing, and you'll hear it all pop on out. And there you go. So as we were, once you pop this, all right, simple panel off. All right, which we did using a screwdriver. All right, and we did so at that point right there, that gap. All right, that will still be there. We put a little flat head in there and popped it out. Then went on around with the fingernail or a screwdriver, being very careful. Pried it on out. You got your four screws one, two, three, four that need to be removed under over the insert F11. F5 and then F1 key. Once to take those out, then we'll move to the next step. All right, with those four screws removed, all right, and again they are little tiny suckers. All right, like I said, no bigger than the E key right there. Then you're gonna take this up from the back, pull it up, pull it out. Flip it over, being very careful because this is a connector for it. This is your inaccessible ROM chip. RAM, 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 RAM. Why I keep calling it ROM? I don't know. But anyway, to remove this, all you're going to do, all right, pop that out. Let me cut another light on here, help you all out. All right, pull that out over there. Grab the end of this, pull it out over there. Notice it popped right on up. Alright, you'll take the old one out, which this is the new one, I've already replaced mine, so since it wants to zoom in over there, or focus rather, I'll let you see that. So anyway, that's the one gig chip I clearly bought off of Computer Bay, alright, from Amazon, I'll put a link in the description. Anyway, you'll put it in matching up that notch that's there, alright, to the notch that is there, okay, so again, there's a notch there, alright. There's also a notch here. You match those up. 
it goes in like so it is a swooping motion like that like that so you put it in at an angle matching the notch up so again putting it in like so pressing it down use both corners that way you don't break or crack anything you'll hear it click all right and you're good when you put the keyboard back all right if you notice there are these silver tabs and black tabs on the keyboard part itself all right this is the silver one that's the black part silver black all right silver black and again silver black you're gonna do this putting it in this way and then flat so it's the opposite swoop in then flat so like that tuck it put it down so just have them line them up on top of one another push down and like I said you're also going in all right once you don't see any space with the bottom you know you got it right and it should just kind of just lay on flat down there for the most part you replace those four screws from over the insert, the F11, the F5, and the F1 key. And then we'll replace this panel right here. And we'll be back in business. So one moment. Alright, now that you've got that done, you got your four screws back in. Alright. Good feel to it. Nothing's moving, nothing's wiggling, nothing's loose. You're good to go. You're going to put this down now when you put this in keep in mind that little notch all right let's talk about these little notches real quick all right that notch that's on here is going to match up with that notch there it's shaped like so so when you put it in you're gonna try to do it like so with the edges because there are the three edges for this particular piece so like that you'll see what i mean when you're doing this for yourself all right so when I put this down if you heard it click all right I put it in again with that swooping motion down like that you hear it click same thing I'll do over here you kinda take a fingernail or something pick it up in the center push down and you heard it again all right <sighs> I'm just pushing on down. Just taking your time, being careful. You're gonna hear it click and you're gonna hear it pop and that's okay. Press back around each edge. Just making sure everything is good. And you're good. Alright. So that's that. Now all you'll do is you will replace, all right, three screws, again, it's by the S-Video input on that, right on the corner, it's the one screw, and these are the long screws, okay, the longer ones. You got your regular ones with the kind of the blue outline on it, sorry about the glare, all right. I'm gonna try to find a better camera angle there. I think you just saw it right there. So anyway, you got the shorter one and the longer one right next to one another. So anyway, you replace these with the the long ones, three of them, one right there, one right there. Now, once you replace those, then you're good to go. And your compact Presario R3000 now has two gigs of RAM.